All right, what do we got there, Max Banner? <laughs> All right, uh, uh, biggest story right now, a blast at a Gaza hospital killed hundreds of Palestinians just before Joe Biden visited Israel as a conflict between the Israel military and the Hamas militant group raged. Yeah. All right, so here's what everyone needs to do now with the news. You have to think because you're not going to get the news from the people who never stop talking about misinformation. Um, Because this was widely reported, and now the Middle East is on fire and everything else. So first things first, when you hear the news and they go, Israel fired a rocket in a Palestinian hospital. Your first thought has to be, Israel doesn't do that shit. (laughs) Israel drops off leaflets telling people to clear out. They want to bomb places. It's against type. (laughs) Israel doesn't engage in that. Hamas does that shit, but Israel doesn't fire rockets into hospitals. So that should be your first like thought. Like, what is this? Second is, who told us this happened? A spokesperson for Hamas. <laughs> okay, now I have two pieces of information. One is this group that never does this shit is being accused of doing it, and B... This wasn't told to us by the information minister from Israel or some other third party. Right. We're getting this from Palestinian Hamas guys. Hamas right. who, who, headquarters press who secretary. Who routinely lie about all of this shit all of the time. Mm-hmm. So CNN, slow your fucking roll a beat. I know it's exciting. Like, I know they get a little sexual tingle Everyone's about this. First, yeah. No, but they hate Israel, so they're going to do this. That, that, so that's their move. It was a lie. Nothing fucking hit the hospital. Well, it was a Palestinian rocket. And by a the way, Hamas rocket. Uh, sorry, Hamas rocket. Shot out of Palestine. But it's a Hamas rocket, which are made from water pipes. Like, they're homemade. So it would make sense that the guidance system on them wasn't state of the art. Like, if Israel wanted to hit a hospital, they would hit it. Right. But they don't want to hit a hospital. But their shit doesn't malfunction and fall out of the sky. Like, a high percentage of the Hamas rockets are just garage rockets that are built out of five inch pipe that's mm-hmm. supposed to be bringing water to the people, but they're making their own fucking rockets. Yeah. It's like so, when fireworks go wrong. Yes. Like- one of those malfunction, they have film of it. They have conversations between Hamas guys going, oh, fuck, we screwed the pooch. We hit the hospital instead of the whatever. They have the conversations, they have footage of it, they have the drone footage of it. They have Hamas sources being recorded saying it, it wasn't Israel, but CNN hates that narrative. Right. They hate that narrative. Now, why CNN needs a narrative, I don't know. They could get back to the news, but they can't stop themselves. So they all fucking dive on it, as well as the squad and AOC and all those bitches. And the next thing you know, uh, the Middle East is on fire because you guys said something that never happened because you listened to Hamas, who routinely lies about this, one of their own rockets. And by the way, the hospital's not down. How did 500 people die in a hospital that's not damaged? The rocket hit a parking lot next to the hospital. So CNN, do a little vetting, would you please? CNN was talking about this as late as last night. I mean, late, late, late. And the, yes. the news came in. Right. But, but is it a it. coincidence? No. Is it a coincidence that they got everything wrong about COVID? Is no. it a coincidence that they thought ivermectin was horse pace? Is it a coincidence or is this what they do? Get back to fucking doing the news. Without now, fear nor favor. Many people died because of this misreporting. But people, when you hear news, like when you hear like, one of your friends who's meek and sober and friendly, like Bert got shit faced and tore the restaurant apart and fucked a waitress on the counter. Like you'd go, right. Mm-hmm. That's not Bert. Right. Uh, something happened, but that, that didn't happen. Like the first thought is when you hear Israel bomb the hospital or shut a rocket into a hospital, stop and think who they are and then who Hamas is and then figure and, and where you heard the news and then slow your fucking roll, everybody. And then also think, put this exact same situation in uh, Russia and Ukraine in in that conflict. If a hospital uh, blew up in Russia, would our news outlets immediately be saying that, or is it the other way around? Well, they wouldn't. They wouldn't, they wouldn't. take. They, they wouldn't, wouldn't take Putin's word for it. Exactly. Is what, is exactly. Whatever the news was, they wouldn't take their word for it. They would vet it. 
unless they wanted this to happen no and vetting. wanted to share this and thus no vetting. So then it spreads across the world. Every, every embassy is on fire. And the following day, it didn't happen. So be careful out there. But people, you're not going to get it. You're not going to get it from the news anymore. You got to figure it out. And you'll be correct way more than they're correct if you just figure out some basic principles. People at war are much easier to control. Yep. All right. And by the way, a lot of the articles now, because this is still developing as we record this, are just changing. Like, we have reason to believe. Well, that- they can't call themselves lying and wrong all at once. <laughs> reason have to, to believe. Slowly. <laughs> it's basically CNN. What CNN has to do about this or COVID or all the shit they're wrong about is what you have to do when you get busted cheating. You, have, you, you do the... It was, it was it was a one time thing. I just felt a titty, you know. It wasn't a. Then later on, it was like, yeah, I dropped a digit and ate some Caesar salad. That's right. But uh, I came inside myself. I did, I did a <laughs> retrograde. I went full retrograde. I went full taint mash <laughs> retrograde. And then at some point, it's like, well, the fair was six months, but you know, you have to you got soft pedal. A little you got to you got to yeah. walk it back. It's I called had a poop walking inside it me. back. I had a poop yeah, I mean, I retrograded her. Ah, yeah, it was a mess. Because <laughs> some didn't come out the front, but I guarantee it came out the back. At least a little turtle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, they're lying. Yeah, it's the- funny though. Chris made a good point. Um, there is evidence is now a new sin. Um, I mean, what was the? We have reason to believe. Right, is now a synonym for evidence. Right, but it's just less. Yeah, less damaging. Yeah, somebody. Somebody, God, I can't remember who sent this tweet out, but it was really smart. They said that all the guys, the 51 intelligence experts that signed the Hunter Biden laptop as a fake document that was a lie, um, would they be as careful to vet this? Would, would, because anyone who's been around for more than 10 minutes should be like, you, you're taking Hamas's word for, for blowing up a hospital? Uh, we need to vet this. Yeah, Half of America has taken that word, too. So CNN listened to these guys with the Hunter Biden laptop fake thing, but did no vetting when it came <laughs> to a hospital in Hamas, which is still there. All right. Just don't listen to them. That's all. And at a certain point, you have blood on your hands. Like at, at a certain point, whether it's locking kids at home for a year and a half or setting the Middle East on fire, news outlets, at a certain point, some of this is your fault. All right. That's how else? they make money. That's true. Both sides make money. All right. Um, all right. All right. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, there also, this this just happened today too. After 18 years, the mystery of what happened to Alabama teen Natalie yeah. Hall, Holloway in Aruba has been solved. What do you think happened, Adam? After 18 years, uh, Vandersloot. Yep. Was accused of killing her. Yeah, but they never found the body. No, yeah, due to lack of evidence, him and the, his two other cohorts were let free. But <clears> didn't then, he have to kill three more girls before they figured out it was him? Yeah, he had to. He killed somebody yeah. else, yeah. and then he did. Yeah, he also pled guilty. Well, so he then he tried to extort money from Nally Holloway's mom. Say, no way. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's like. I'll tell you where your daughter's body is if you give me some money. Yeah, he wanted no like two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Is he the worst? I I, I want to get to hold of the Vandersloot family and go like, what did you do? To, what <laughs> exactly? You yeah. were the worst. First off, you should have gone retrograde on that ejaculation because <laughs> yeah, that kid's a fucking monster, and he should but, definitely be suspended. His That's parents right. were were outraged when he was getting accused. Like like, this is our son. How dare you guys do? Like they were defending him. When this is going on. He, I, I guess he raped her, drugged her, raped her. Yeah, Killed so, her and threw her out in the ocean. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. So We're Dutch, he, we only like pancakes. That's right. So um, he just pled guilty to, for the extortion, and then he confessed to his mom. Um, so the mom said he gave a proffer in which he finally confessed to killing Natalie. What happened was Natalie refused his sexual advances, admitted to killing her because so he killed of her. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Wanted to lose. Did they did they find her or where? where no, she? no. Then the judge says we probably will never find her. They've. Like well, you can't know. sit in the, in the ocean for 18 yeah, years. She's in the I, I didn't know if he had buried her or something. Oh, he like admitted uh, the last time he saw her was when we dropped, dumped her in the sea. Oh, wow. And they weren't. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But, and, but, and, and there's two other guys involved, too? 
Yeah, but there, um, but during the hearing, prosecutors announced that Vandersuit confessed to the parents. Um, he also showed a little bit of remorse, the first sign of remorse in 18 Oops. years, claiming <laughs> he was born again. He, this is his quote. Oh, oh, yeah, the funnest people in the world. Yeah. Here's his quote. I would like to take this chance to apologize to the Holloway family, to apologize to my own family, to say I hope the statement I provided brings some kind of closure to everyone involved. Um, I opened my heart to Jesus Christ, and I'm no longer uh, the person I was back then. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Wow, man. Worst prison roommate ever, <laughs> because he's the worst person ever, and he's found Jesus nice. Christ. So Now he's always knocking on your door. At least the worst person ever, like when you get him as the cellmate, right. at least he's going to tell you some good stories. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's got some good Guess travel stories. <laughs> right. But now he's found Jesus Christ. So, so he's going to tell you what Jesus did instead right. of what he did. So what he did. <laughs> That's right. Mm-hmm. Or, yeah. From yeah. from a or friend horrible. who did uh, a time for robbing banks, he told me that you only find Jesus in jail if you just want to try to be safe. The gangs will kind of leave you alone if you become yeah, it's good for the parole Christian. meeting. You know, he'll get yeah. he'll get come up for parole in twenty five years, and then he can talk about finding Jesus twenty six years. I ago. lost him, but there they lost yeah. Jesus. <laughs> That's why I, when he gets out, as soon as he gets out of jail, yeah, I lost him. I couldn't <laughs> believe it. I was with him the whole time, and I got out, and he just, just left me. I got to check my other jeans, or maybe under <laughs> the car seat. He's out there somewhere. He used to be on my my dash in my car, making sure that I didn't hit anything. Now he's gone. I miss those dashboard Jesuses. Was it a hula? Was it a hula de- Jesus? Was it? Was, <laughs> it started Jesus. off as a legitimate dashboard Jesus, right? And then at some point, it turned into a hula. But I don't think it was a hula Jesus. Oh, it's a good. But there's a hula dancer. Hula girl. Hula Jesus. Yeah, yeah hula but Jesus. and then somebody had to cross pollinate the yeah. hula mm-hmm. dancer and the dashboard. And Jesus. then they made a saint. Right now, there's a saint. That your saint of driving. Yeah, I yeah. know. We got to ask people that are celebrating yeah. Mexican. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm month. going down. They're three, gonna have a three days later. They're, they're gonna have that saint. Mm. All right. Let's, so Vandersloot, yeah. by the way, he's serving a 28 year prison sentence in Peru for the 2010 murder oh, of Stephanie Flores. Prison. He was allowed temporary release to face these extortion charges and wire fraud charges, and then so he, he will return to Peru to finish the murder sentence, and then afterwards he will return to the U.S. to start his prison sentence for extortion and wire fraud charges. His, I'm, I'm sure what he was doing was trying to get into an American prison because the Peruvian prison was hell. Oh, man. That's probably what he was up to, why he confessed. Peruvian prison just sounds like, it sounds like something your agent would yell at you yeah. when you're talking about <laughs> quitting him. You know, you're going to end up in some fucking Peruvian prison, Is that what you, so want? you asshole. You need me, you understand? <laughs> You're gonna be playing a Peruvian prison. You got it? <laughs> you got that bag? Yeah. You won't even be the big one on the title. It'll be a, a Peruvian band and then you You'll be featuring band flute. Yeah, you won't even play it. There'll be a Calypso band, it'll be at the top, <laughs> and then it'll be in bag featuring for the Calypso band. <laughs> In a Peruvian prison, you walk out of this office, that's where you're going. <laughs> want to, not want to work with me. Fuck you, sir. All right. All right. Um, also. All right. <laughs> all right. In the in the another uh, shocking story, Adam. Shocking. So, lingerie retailer Victoria's Secret. Well, hold on. Somebody brought this up, but there is me and Norm McDonald because you just brought up Norm. Yeah. Reenacting the phone call of um, Jordan. Is it Jordan Vandersloot? Jordan. Jordan. Jordan Vandersloot, played by Norm McDonald, calling me the friend. He wants me to move the body. Yeah, you have a boat. I have a boat, and he wants me to move by. Because hey, uh, he called somebody. <laughs> All right, anyway, we can play a minute of it. Hello? D- Dowry, is this you? Hey, Vandersloot, what's happening? Hey, listen, buddy, I'm in some trouble, man. What's up? I'm, uh, I'm calling you from a pay phone. I, under- I realize it's year 2006. What do you need, to borrow some money or something? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to that cell phone? Yeah, anyway, what do you need? You need to borrow 20 spot? Now, this is the thing, man. Uh, What'd you do, vomit on your shirt or something? You need a new shirt? No, I met a hot lady. All right. Yeah, down at the casino. Uh-huh. And I uh, brought her to a remote uh, section of the beach. You know how I work. <laughs> right. <laughs> I know your M.O. Yeah. What do you need, a condom or a roofie? or something? Uh, no, I, I've, uh, I already have those. I've already used those. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, the thing is, uh, I, I mean, this girl wanted it bad. Yeah, cool. You know what, what do you I'm need, a towel about? or something? <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's not it. Uh, 
You remember that boat you had? We need some water soluble lube. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, it, it's I know. over with. It was a hot. It was a oh, hot. Okay. Hot. Yeah. So, awesome. Yeah, I got a boat. What of it? Uh, I was wondering if I could you borrow it for a while. Why? What do you want me to do with the boat? Uh, well. She may be uh, in a. She may be dead or in a coma. Right. And I was thinking we throw her in the chuck. <laughs> oh, so we toss her in the boat. And, and, and what? The, like drive her to a hospital? Uh, no. What about the ocean? So let me get this straight. You met a chick at Carlos and Pepe's. Yeah, she was hot. I did a you jello dropped, shot you, off you, her belly. You did belly. a jello shot. You dropped a digit on her on the beach, and yeah. now you want me to drag her into the ocean and dr and throw her in because she's passed out? Yeah, but I don't want right. to go. I don't want to go with <laughs> cool. you. Is it oh. cool if I don't go with you? Oh. <laughs> so, hold on a second. Because a, a minute ago I was watching the honeymooners and enjoying a Um Now you want me to get up. Uh, uh, pop on the Harachis, head down to the beach. Yeah. Are you going to help me load her onto the boat? No, I got to get home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so let me just digest this for a second. She she may or may not be dead. She will be though. <laughs> okay, as of now, she may still have a pulse. Yeah, I can't tell. Okay, so you want me to swing by, but you won't be there, and then I should grab her and drag her across the sand, and right. then toss her onto my boat, and then drag her a couple kilometers uh, yeah. off the uh, off the shore, and then dump her in the ocean, and sure. then go back home. And you're going to be where? And what, and what you do with her before that's up the, to you. <laughs> oh my god, that was a norm. So amazing. That's why there's no God. Yeah, Norm's mm. gone. Yeah. Oh, and Natalie. Yeah. Norm. <laughs> Norm. <laughs> All right. We got our uh, next guest is going to be queuing up here in a second. You want to hear about Victoria's Secret? Yeah, real quick. All right. So Panties down. So Victoria's Secret plans to withdraw its attempt at being more inclusive <laughs> with its marketing, uh, reverting to its original reputation of, of, of sexiness in the wake of decreased sales. So they were known for hiring beautiful models, but they tried to diversify over the past few years, hiring plus size and transgender <laughs> representatives. Uh, but the rebrand attempt has not translated to increased sales. What? Uh, they, they're down by almost 20%. So the Victoria's Secret CEO said, uh, despite everyone's best endeavors, it's not been enough to carry the day. Uh, part of the attempted rebrand included hiring Megan Rapinoe, a Rapino, uh, an athlete, an activist. Who, uh, it never a, works for these fucking idiots, and I'm so glad it never works. How about just doing this? Maybe bring the price point down a little bit. Yeah. Make and maybe more affordable the chicks too. a little maybe, hotter yeah, and a little maybe, less fat. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, who cares about them? The models don't need to change, but the uh, maybe you don't make a billion dollars. You only make $500 million, and you bring the price down Bring your bit. goals down. Bring oh, your expectations down. I hate down. everybody. So the, uh, oh. Valentina Sampaio became the, the outlet's first transgender model, which <laughs> after after that hiring, the former uh, chief Orange marketing officer black. resigned. Um, so they are abandoning this diversity campaign. And uh, they brought back several of its former models in August, including Giselle Bundchen, Naomi Campbell, yep. Adriana Go Lima. Go to the bench. Get the all-star team yeah. out there. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, they're also they they turns announced out the minor league team doesn't get any hits. I know, nope. so, and they're also bringing back its annual fashion show, which was canceled in 2019 after criticism that it didn't have enough diversity. So the <laughs> pendulum is swinging back <laughs> the other way. Idiots. I love it when they get bit by their own fucking snake. All right, uh, we will say Ian. What did I do with Ian's sheet? Oh, here Ian, it is. get out. Here it is. <laughs> Ian, uh, shows coming up. Pittsburgh, Brea, yeah. Denver. Ianbag.com is where you go for, for that. Always a good time, Ian. Thanks yes. for having me, guys. Always a pleasure to see you.